Welcome back to True News. Now today, Israel Adesanya, one of the greatest UFC fighters ever, has a problem with an ex-girlfriend. We've all been there, but not quite this bad. Israel Adesanya started kickboxing around early 2000s, made his professional debut in 2010, and went on to have a career that spans almost 15 years now. This is a girl who apparently he'd been dating for since 2019. This lady was on the scene for a few years as a girlfriend, not a wife, not a baby mama, just a girlfriend. And that's the beauty of not putting a ring on it, lads. They're not entitled to jack shit. I strongly recommend it until you're absolutely fucking sure. Now, despite the fact that they do not have a child together, we're never married, and I don't remember her getting in the octagon and throwing all those punches and kicks. She thinks she should get half of his money because they're no longer together. I'm sure she supported him so much when she was... Clapping from the sidelines, not doing anything, but you know, hard work doing all those claps, isn't it? We all know that it, it, on occasion, you know, if people separate and they have come together and built a company together, let's take, for example, Amazon. It's an easy example where the husband and wife built a company together from the foundations up. It wasn't about talent. That's all about hard work and know-how and you two coming together as a team and building a company together. I have no problem with that scenario and what happened. But this is very different. This is raw talent. This is like a great singer. Only the singer can do what they can do. The fighter, it's raw talent. Only them can get in that octagon and do those magical things. Yes, she may have cooked them a few meals, give them the odd back rub, but that, I'm afraid, does not equate to anywhere near half of the effort it took for him to achieve everything he did. And even the most wildly insane you know, feminist wouldn't in a million years be able to argue that she deserves half of shit. Now, yes, she might have dedicated a few years of her life in the belief that this might one day result in marriage. It didn't. Sometimes life sucks. Sometimes you've got to be a fucking grown-up and accept that you made a decision, it didn't pay off, and that decision is all on you. You don't get to now cry because you thought that this was going to result in you becoming a multi-millionaire one day because the, the relationship didn't work out. Sometimes that just happens. Grow the fuck up, man. The level of entitlement in this story blows my mind. He's not your dad. This man worked his balls off for over a decade before he even met you, chasing this dream. This would have happened with or without her. And yet she thinks she can actually ask for half. This shows how insane the world's gone now. You know, it's bad enough that there are some freeloading parasites out there that did not lay a single brick in the company that these men out there build. And in the event of a divorce, they then get half, despite not having a fucking clue how well half of the money even came about most of the time, just because they were in a relationship with this guy. At least these women are actually in a relationship. The lawyers are even worse. They don't even suck the dick of the man and they still get to fucking feast on the carcass of the poor bastard in the event of a divorce. But this, this guy didn't even sign a piece of paper. This was a fling, a few years, there's nothing. No kids, no nothing. And she still feels like she is entitled to half. We're not even safe anymore, lads. Just run and hide. This woman is young. She is quite capable of providing for herself. Guarantee you won't see Israel Adesanya asking for half of what she's worth, will you? Equality. Oh, it, it won't be needed in this scenario, will it? And the funniest thing is, he dumped her. He then went back in for a title fight and won the title fight without her. Well, I never. He actually managed to win a title without her. Probably because it doesn't make a blind bit of fucking difference if she's sucking his dick on the run-up to a fight or not. You fucking freeloading parasite. This is one of the most talented individuals we've ever seen in MMA and she has the cheek to think she should get half of it, all of his earnings when he's been getting the shit kicked out of him for years and getting beaten up in that octagon and she didn't take a single fucking punch. Izzy has posted some sort of uh, email exchange between him and this girl back in 2001 so they've been clear of each other for a while now. She also said it's not fun living in his shadow and taking second priority because what he is doing is so important. After a while, it just makes me feel small. You go after a superstar in Israel Adesanya and then complain you're not equal to him. This is that classic mentality of let me go and find a rich man and then complain when you're not a power couple. You're not a power couple because you ain't bringing any power to the couple. Okay, Izzy then responds. I let you drift away into a miserable existence because misery loves company and you love being a victim. Anyhow... <laughs> 
I think you meant to say anywho. I hope you try and affect my businesses, such as Puma, with your weak bitch threats. You never help me make money, only ever cost me money. Preach! The irony of someone Izzy spent a fucking fortune on, trying to then come back and take half, claiming she helped him make it. This is just all too common for powerful men. It's standard. Any men out there who are making money, you must be so fucking careful, because you are an opportunity. You are not a person and that goes for your friends and your girlfriend think about that and now you think you deserve half my shit what an entitled pompous brat you are i spit on you <laughs> izzy's got the lyrics he's so fucking funny i dare you to start your stupid campaign your threats don't work anymore this is the thing is this is a woman who's been threatening him for a while clearly how dare she? These fucking gold diggers. Get a fucking grip of yourself. Have some shame. Didn't earn a fucking penny of what this man has worked his life for. Mixed with God-given talent, you didn't contribute a fucking second of it. You are responsible for your emotions. You don't care about my life because you've sold info about me. She's basically been selling it to the media about stuff she knows about him. I don't even hate you. I don't care about you. I've not been in love with you for a while. That's the shit. That's what I'm talking about is hit her with a nonchalance, mate. Let her know you nothing her. No hate, no love, you nothing her. She don't deserve hatred. She's not worth hatred. People like this, they feed off of energy. Give them nothing. In summary, <laughs> he's writing this like an essay. I'm glad this all happened. I wouldn't change a fucking thing. I'm glad I finally have someone who can stand next to me and not feel like my shine takes away from theirs, confident in their own light. Damn. He is psychoanalyzing her right now. And this is so true, by the way. Ironically, if she really was worth half, he'd have put a ring on it. And he would have known to do that had she have been truly supportive, not jealous of who he was, and just there to play her position. You ever heard of LeBron James, right? Le LeBron James's wife did a very rare interview and they asked her, why do you never want to be in the limelight? Because we've all seen people like Rebecca Vardy, like Jamie Vardy wasn't necessarily the biggest star in the Premier League. His wife couldn't stay out of the limelight. LeBron James, the, one of the biggest stars in sports history, her, his wife wants nothing to do with the limelight she just wants to play her position and support her man and be grateful and be there for him that's a real woman we need to call this shit out i don't want anyone saying i'm being misogynist here i'm against parasites people who do nothing and expect everything we all need to be calling this shit out men and women because it's fucking disgraceful behavior and it gives women in general a bad name so he said he ends it with this is the last time you'll fucking hear from me my lawyers will be in touch and then <laughs> with a painting nails emoji that is the most easy way of ending it. So we will continue to follow this case as it develops because I think we're getting into extremely dangerous territory here and hopefully there's a little bit of common sense from the court system in New Zealand. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Clearly, I think it's a fucking disgrace. Don't forget to hit that like button, stay subscribed to the True Geordie YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next one.